I did. So let me reiterate, I actually waived my entitlement to this payment and I didn't receive one cent of it. I hid nothing. I had nothing to hide. Lot of fingernail slapping As going the on in the top there. Today shows There's a lot of fingernail slapping going on. He's kept it. The rumour on the street is that Tuberty went and got a fucking manicure earlier on and said to the woman doing the nails, I want a lacquer. Have you got a lacquer for my nails? Because I'm going to be making some heavy, heavy points on the fucking mahogany when I get in that committee room. Audited the accounts in these years, 17, 18, 19, had accounts. We signed a letter. The first contact uh, with. Um, sorry, but the first one, we weren't concealing any issue. It was okay. just a Renault. Okay. It was just a Renault. Can, can, can I just ask in, in, in relation Renault. to uh, the uh, commercial contract the that you, you say it was uh, Brito who came up with the, uh, the idea of this uh, That put contract. it forward first. Yeah. And is, is that the a, new Renault Clio. Unusual in terms of your uh, to, negotiate to on behalf of... Drive the new Renault Barter account tonight, starting at €75,000 per annum. People that you represent. Would it be normal that RTE would put forward proposals? Don't worry about the license fee payers, John. They're only fucking chimps anyway. This is exceptional because Ryan, as the host of the Late Late Show, and Renault as the sponsor of the Late Late Show, and the RTE and, and the Late Late Show being owned by RTE, um, it is, it is, uh, yeah, it's unique. It's an exception. No, no, no other cases uh, of any of the other no. people. No, no, no. Seventy-five k. Renault have dropped the ball on the Tuberty money. Don't worry. RT said they're going to foot the bill. But what about the public? Won't they be upset? Don't worry about the public, and don't worry about the license fee payers either. They're only fucking chips anyway, John. <laughs> <laughs> Reno! <laughs> Reno, John! Reno Cleo, Reno McGann, Reno Espas. Don't worry about the money tubs. Let's just say Papa and Nicole are gonna drop a thick fucking wedge in your doorstep tomorrow. On your doorstep, I mean, not in it. <laughs> you should stress that NK management had the charity lunch that you held, then the story doesn't. And I'm not, I, no, I, sure. I don't have the facts sure. before me, so I'm just asking you the question. Over, and, and just clarify that, please. Sorry, just clarify that point for him. Yeah. Yes. Um, Clarify that, please. The Thank you. The lunch in question, RT wanted to take a table, so they, um, the people that were organised, they asked them to invoice that. I, I you know. So RT, oh, oh, you, RT told the charity to invoice Astus. You didn't know it, Astus was invoiced. No. Okay. No. Yeah, Alan Kelly. No. Don't worry about the charity money, John. The public are going to foot the bill for it. Hey. Charity starts at home, John. Charity fucking starts at home. St. Vincent de Paul. More like St. Vincent de Reno. Am I right? RT, and they're watching this, obviously, and the DG is watching this. The statement that RT issued this this morning is astonishing. If the DG is not watching this, somebody tell him that whoever issued this and how it was issued. How's it going with yourself anyway? Good, good, good. Apparently there's an unidentified flying object inside the committee room at the moment. The UFO, John. Cold John, John. Cold John. Tipperary water bottle, John. Check that out. It's very sustainable. Made of paper. Rubot, thanks very much, John. Thanks very much, Rubus. Rubot. Ch Ch 
John Denver, John. They call him the Toy Man. Bit of bad news. Uh, Toberty let it slip that he was known as the Toy Man. Less than what I'm actually getting. So, have we even had any explanation as of yet? I've been too busy trying to put a PNG image of a baseball cap on many people whilst repeatedly playing a dark, ominous drone sound. It was maybe marginally funny the first time I did it, but by the 50th time, it had lost its edge. Now, in doing that, I have missed a lot of what's been said. Nobody has actually answered any questions as of yet. Like, the, the smoking gun question, the big question, the big question is... Here we go. He's, ask, he's asking it. Going into the pandemic, in, in the, and we all know how difficult it was, and you broadcast throughout it, throughout it um, with, you know, great admiration and respect from the population. But did you in any way say to yourself, this is a dangerous situation because the published figures in relation pertaining to my salary that have been published in newspapers, I think the, Irish, was, uh, the, the Irish Independent were publishing this those figures, it. were not reflective of your actual take-home pay. And I have heard the evidence that you provided and, and what you've said. Yes. At the, the end of the day, gun. there was a three-parted agreement there involving the national broadcaster in RTE with Reynolds and yourselves. But did you not ask yourself the question, maybe it's just not wise for me to be taking this money at this point in time, considering what was going on in the country? Yep, I think it's a fair, it's a fair observation, and I probably should have been a bit more inquisitive about these things. So you never <laughs> ask any questions in relation to that. I, I, I say what I say, I should have been more inquisitive. It's a fair, it's a fair point. Deputy, can I just... What? Yeah, hell, it's not a 20%. No, I'm, I'm sorry, unfortunately not, this is one of the great kind of fog of war situations here where the money that came in, enormous amount of money, and I don't deny it for a moment, but it came from, of course, as we understood it, from Renault. So we thought it was a side, <laughs> it was a totally different agreement entirely. It was an independent contractor agreement that Renault, Renault had, John. And, and that, that was what, that was the understanding. That's what I was told. I had to I drive had to, the new I, Renault tripod no, agreement. I know you know how it worked. It, it was an underwriting. It was, it was those two 75,000 euro invoices were underwritten by RT, paid for by RT, taxpayers, um, you know, TV license holders. To your account, do, do you not accept that you actually haven't taken a 20% pay cut. It, it, it represents again, much less Again, than again. Sorry. Deputy O'Sullivan, I'm sorry. We'll have to conclude, OK? Uh, and move on. Deputy Ah, Adam. come on! <coughs> Thanks very much ah. for your look. And again, I, I'd like to thank our guests uh, for I mean, the earlier, earlier session. Very constructive. Alan Dillon, give it uh, to them. So, uh, I'll start again. Go on, on From um, Deputy O'Sullivan's line of question. RTE previously stated that they, they never made uh, cash transactions to the barter system for presenters. Uh, and this was particularly... It's getting a bit of WD-40 on that door, it's creaking. That it would primarily Good me, old man, no. He needs to give for, them, for them a good pistol. Can I ask, Mr Kelly, have you ever made any cash payments to the bartering system? No, and we've no knowledge of the arrangements. We've no part in suggesting it or setting it up. And we were, so we were not consulted about it. We were... The um, tripartite agreement yeah. that... Pages I understand, why. Yeah. I understand why, why, why that perception is out there, but I, I and I, we have tried to exp try, really someone, tried very hard to explain someone get the, door, the hey. difference between being paid separately by by Renault versus being paid by RT, and then the pay cut involved, in it, and then trying to explain that also the, the the accumulation of pay cuts to take it from 40 uh, 40 percent pay cut since 2012. I mean. I have tried to, to reflect yeah. that, but in answer to your question, which is obviously a very fair question, uh, the, 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 I can understand why there is confusion, and I can understand... Oh, for fuck's sake, will someone get that? I think, that, I think that's Tuttle. Okay, Tuttle's at the door, will you let them in? In reality, and that's why I said in reality, yes, yes, yes. RTE actually footed that bill, the public purse footed that bill. They'd no business underwriting a separate commercial yeah, detail yeah, or yeah. deal, but they actually paid to 375,000 no, payments. No, 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 no. There's, there's 375,000. They paid, sorry, no. no. Sorry, this is okay. what, and I say this really respectfully, this is why I am in such a terrible state at the moment, because there's been so much misunderstanding and misreporting and, and you know, about this and about these figures. 
and you know that 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 figure you just mentioned like that's not that's not a real right. figure at all the, okay, and it's not a fair figure and and you know it just gets thrown at your head and you know you're trying to that's why we're here today to try and to try and write that okay. because the, the, unfortunately like like that 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 story doubt you know when the when a feather leaves the pillow <laughs> it's very hard to get that back and so, unfortunately with my good name Mm -hmm. The feather has left that's the pillow, right. I'm hoping and I'm that you're here trying to put the feather back yeah. in the pillow. And I'm hoping <laughs> that you can put the feather back in the I pillow, appreciate as you that. say. Thank you, Deputy. The two 75 payments, the third, second and third year, yes. they were paid by RTE. Again, they were, they were paid by Astus. Yeah. Yes, but RTE paid the, made those payments to no, Astus. The, the, the payments to us were asked us. Yes, but they came from RTE. But well, we didn't know that. Yeah. That's it. No, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's you know the reason we yeah, But you know now in hindsight. Oh, yeah. Whether you didn't know at the time yeah. or not is another question, Mr. Kelly. But oh, yeah. You know now that RTE paid those payments. So that was my question to you initially, Ryan, in relation yes. to um, the tripart I would have made up for the the twenty yeah. percent. But even and if if you dispute that, and that's fair no, enough. No, no. What, right? what, what I would say to you it was it was John, just work outstanding. It was a tripart agreement. We need one. one staff. Reno are at the door. They're barking at the door, the John. Uh, Reno are hungry. Uh, about, you know, if you don't do that work... Reno right, need to eat, happens, John. Where, what happens to that money? The money goes back. I'm not the money? Go Where's the money going? Oh, like, of course. That's so I totally yeah. understand that. I hope yeah. that answers yeah. your question a bit yeah. better, maybe, than our... And just, just in relation to that... Um, Why did you not discuss now that you your know, years with St. Joseph's Boy Scout movement? Except that that was wrong of RTE to use the public purse to pay I th that. I think it's been, like, uh, what I would say to you, I, uh, I'm not here to be critical of RTE. I've been working there since I was 12 years old. Mm. You know, it's a very important place to me. But I have to defend myself, OK? And the new Director General of RT has asked for maximum transparency. That's what he said in the last 48 hours. That's why I'm here. OK. Um, so you accept that that was wrong for them to pay out of the public purse? It's, it strikes me as ups. being um, uh, unorthodox. <laughs> Tonight at nine on Dispatches, NK Ultra, the Cadbury's Chocolate Man. Tonight at nine on Dispatches. The solicitor who sat behind the Chocolate Man, Renault Cadbury's Corporate. You are a liar. Patrick Kielty here. Just wondering if you wanted to be the next host of the Lit Lit Show. Couldn't be arsed myself anymore. The questions that are Thanks very much, Pat, for the tip. Your question. So you're saying you didn't hide payments? No. You didn't miss uh, represent the financial reporting? No. And you're hiding, you're, you're hiding no information? Correct. OK. Do you realise that the people are looking up to you and they really, really feel let down by you? I don't know, I don't know all these people are rubbing their shoulders and rubbing their hand, because I tell you one thing, if you came to County Loud, it'd be the opposite. Loud. On the 3rd of March, you shut down oh. talks of you leaving the Late Late Show. See the face. You're no more, you're well liked, nobody will give you a wimp. A, a week later, questions started to be asked, look, and your retirement has become nearly charge. nine days It's zero. precarious. You repeatedly stated this morning, to the committee, that you were leaving the Late Late Show had nothing to do with this. As you put it, the Coven fiasco. You stated this time in a simply uh, coincidence. You stated that in your statement that you first became aware of the Grand Thornton Review in May. Is this true? Deputy. I'm only asking a question. And I'm only answering. Yes. He's riled. He's riled. Let me tell you. He, he's fucking Did riled you. Nugent. <laughs> Let Just me tell you. Question, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your dismissal of the good people of Ireland who have the courtesy and the kindness to approach me on the street is not something I appreciate. On their behalf. They, they secondly, approach, they approach me too. Deputy. Secondly, I wish I'd brought them with me. In some ways, the the the, the, the countless cards and letters I've received from people around the country, uh, speaking words of kindness and indeed wisdom, and I wouldn't like to dismiss their decency either. Thirdly, no. If you had been, if you had been made aware, would you have stayed in your position <laughs> until the end? Columbus behaviour. Thank you very much. If you'd known, if you'd known. It is, it is a, it is a hypothetical that is unbecoming. I think question. of this of the question. committee. No, but I would also say, 
you, I, I, I get the sense that you choose not to believe my reason for leaving the I'm late show. I'm only asking questions. I'm only asking people. I'm, I'm, I'm deputy. Yeah. Please. I'm only answering a question. Well, you're not I, answering I, 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 am, I have answered... Do, I've answered you quite clearly. That's the word no. And equally, with my answer to you regarding the, the Late Late Show, if you choose not to believe me, I think that's a terrible pity because you, I'm asked, I'm only asking you, you, you live uh, with a lack of truth then. Right, if OTE were overstating the amount of money that, you were, that were paying you... I'd like I'm to sorry, know, I can't hear you. If OTE were overstating the amount of money... That he's he's using you, the whole... I can't hear you. The money. In the public sorry, I can't hear you. We're, they're in like a quiet, fucking acoustically optimized room. Sorry, what? I can, I'm sorry. No, uh, time's up. I gotta, gotta go, guys. Coming up tonight. Yes. So, would you be willing to be torn to be payment, overpayments to the public funds? You need to refer to the document. Oh, thanks very much. Where you, where you ask, find... ask, please answer the question. I will, yeah, there's, there That's, he's left his fucking phone on behind him. The politician look. It's getting notifications. By RT because of their. Unfortunate accountancy errors. I said over. I said if OT were overstating the amount of money, and you knew they were overstating the amount of money, I'm asking a question, Moisade. In, in the public service, any he's getting loads of messages. Payments is obliged to be told to overpayments. Would no. you be willing? No, no, because still I have people looking in. This looks like another layer to try to cover up. But, but I, I, I sorry, Deputy, we came here today to tell you everything we know. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do. Well, I'm trying to there's ask no, you. And, and there's, there's questions absolutely no deception on our part. I'm putting everything scenarios is factual. to you. Our, you know, and we've had our legal people work along with us with RT on all contracts. So, so you're you know, saying no, you did not suggest that it no, would go through CMS no, at any stage. No, uh, you were nobody working with you on your behalf. No, no, you're confident of that. Hundred percent. Could I ask, Mr. Tuberty, <clears throat> just in relation to the the Toy Show Live uh, event, uh, was was there one pitched by? No, it was the, never. It was never pitched as an idea. No. No. Was it? Sorry, was it? No, sorry, it was. It sorry, was. my apologies. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I, 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 I tell that. So sorry, the choice, sorry. I, mean, I could say that. I mean, it helps if I want to write a book about John F. Kennedy or about yeah. a multicolored sheep, uh, both of which I've written about <laughs> and for different reasons. I, I can do that as an independent contractor. Can and you say there's nothing morally, ethically, or legally wrong with that? Mm. Um, is it a Google user. Thanks for the you. tip. Uh, a multicolored sheep. There's a benefit. It, it, the benefit comes from your connection with RTE. Mm, I'd like to think that it's it's broad. It, that that the, the, the appeal is is not just the appeal. I mean, you've been there since the age so, of age well, twelve. You know? Yeah, I have, I have, I have. But if Harper Collins asked me to write a history book. Does it matter that I work in RT? I don't know. You, that's for them to, to answer. I don't, I don't want to overstate my value to, to somewhere. In your open statement today, um, and a number of times this morning at PAC, you say that you took a pay cut, and I think to most, most people out there, uh, a pay cut is where you work. The same hours and conditions um, for less pay. But that's not the case here. Uh, in, in the contract negotiations in, in your email, you state the that reduce of fees the sheep. has to reflect the reduced levels of services. Has to, re has to reflect the reduced levels of services. So in terms, the terms of the means that you get paid less. Reno sheep. There would, there would be less I. Lots so of kickbacks for you and me. Yes. Yeah, so keep um, still, and nobody will get done. Um, Bring it back again. From two thousand. A multicolored sheep and a butt about again, Kennedy. Um, no Kennedy. In relation to no Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> the, 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 the late show. The late late show. What the fuck you gonna say it's to me? To to John it's, it's supposed to be the yeah. hours half to half eleven, right? The book um, deposit. Any extra? So I need the new late late. So I did thirty two late late shows. I need the new late late shows. Thirty shows of an hour and a half. I did thirty eight shows of two to two and a half hours. So every fifteen minutes or twenty minutes is an extra half for us. You know, so in the new world, it finishes at. 11 o'clock. What the fuck it's you a gonna fucking to the commercial say business. to me? So over the period of, of those six years, there was a 40% pay cut. So um, the contract went for personnel or what have you. With the money and the salary and the earnings there, straight up. Like if RT are going through a cathartic week, let this be part of it. 
I'm, I, I will offer that. I mean, I have nothing to hide. I put the contract out, put it online, tell everyone how much I have. Don't wait for three years, then have this codology that can happen you know, all this Codology? Time later, despite us saying it at the time. So I hope that's of use to you, but I'm, I'm happy you. to offer that today. Just a yeah, final question. Are you, you're fine, OK. Colleagues and witnesses, I'm obviously uh, mindful of the fact that we're at the halfway mark, but we that's actually this. haven't met the halfway mark in terms of colleagues. Senator Malcolm Byrne mm. is next. Are you able to go on for one more witness, or do you want your Delighted break Delighted to talk to Senator Byrne, of course. OK, we we'll continue, Actually, Are you so. OK with that? Yeah, yeah. Is that OK with everybody? Are you OK, sure. Senator? Yeah. yeah. OK, and when Senator Byrne's finished, we'll recess for 10 minutes and then back again. I appreciate okay? that. Thank, thank you. you. OK, I, I, I want to thank you, Chair, and I want to thank uh, the witnesses. Um, uh, Ryan, I think it's fair to say you and I know each other a long time. We were in UCD together. Um, we were friendly at the time. I, I know how committed you are to radio. I know even back then you were you were deeply committed to, to broadcasting. And I think there is a passion uh, that is there. And I think everybody recognizes your talents. Uh, and obviously this is having a big personal impact on you. Yes, but, it is. But I think, you know, it is important for us, and I think for you, yes. that we get the full picture here. It's, as colleague said, it's not about a witch hunt. This is about getting a full picture. I understand that. And I think what is emerging uh, really is around a culture that exists within RT that's going to have to, to, to change. Yes. So my, my first question to you is, and it's very simple, do you believe in all you. of this, that you have done anything wrong? I think that the, the only thing I, that I can, I can answer that is, <laughs> in, in a way that's reasonable and fair is to say that I should have called out the uh, figures when they were released all in one day on March, I'm sorry, on January the 20th, 2021. They were wrong. We had requested that they change them before in dispatches, but that day we didn't. So, yeah. I'm not without blame yes, when they were shown. Because so these, these figures are discussed widely. The document's so in, in your... In the in document, your, page, page 14. Yeah. Okay. In the document. That should clarify that for you. Um, <laughs> essentially made changes to the side letter, et cetera. So then on the side letter, we asked them to, to, to take out all of this because we, they were trying to offset a payment that you didn't take or invoice. So this is the 120,000. Oh. So Ryan never took it, never invoiced for it. What, they, what transpired in those discussions? So, so that don't was with you. Take the piece. Don't take the piece. No, but traditionally we would just have met on this issue, right? with the ways, but, but but this is this is the back to the yeah, issue. Yeah. So there we would meet with the MD of radio, the MD of TV, and collectively they would say we want municipal sequester units. A 15-year sequester with no right to reply and all meals without salt. The new Renault Sequester. 15D junket around the promenade of dreams. Crazy to think in two years time we're going to be sequestered. I returned to work after the five week sequester. I felt refreshed in beyond my usual self. Thing that these globalists really need to fucking know, and then once they do know, they'll fear, and that's that once we cage them up into a fucking lockbox, we'll throw away the fucking key, and we'll weld another fucking cage around that cage as well, because these cunts need to fucking realise that they're getting sequestered. Out of the sponsorship and keep the sponsor on for 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 for, 